Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ. Thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you're really gonna like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Today I'm gonna review the Bits of Stock app. Now the Bits of Stock app is a cashback app, which is technically a stockback app because the cashback that you receive on your purchases is used to buy fractional shares of the companies that you shop with. All you need to do is connect a credit card or a debit card that you run as credit when you shop, and then Bits of Stock is able to track those transactions and then give you cash back in the form of stock with the companies that you shop at. If you saw my previous video where I talked about the Bumped app, which is another stock back app, there's a slight difference in the way that you receive cash back between these two applications, which is what makes Bits of Stock, to me, the best cash back app available. So with the Bits of Stock app, you have about 100 different companies available within this application that you can choose from. And out of that 100 or so companies, you get to choose 15 no matter what type of company they are. So if you saw the bumped app review, you'll see that you had different categories. You had 10 different categories, and within each category, you could only choose one store. But with Bits of Stock, it doesn't separate it by category, and so you can choose multiple stores, whether it's five restaurants and five airlines and then five retail stores, whatever the case may be, based on where you shop at the most, you can choose the 15 best that work for your spending. And from what I can tell, everyone that I've seen that's using the Bits of Stock app, there haven't been any stores that I've seen that they've had available that I haven't had available. So that's another benefit of this app versus the Bumped app, where at least currently while they're beta testing, they haven't made all of the stores available to every user of the application. So maybe once they're out of beta, they'll give us more options. But even in beta, Bits of Stock did give you the option to have all of the available options to choose from within their application. Now the pros of this application are that you do get stock back versus getting cash back. Of course, receiving stock, it may go up or down with the stock market, but over the long term, usually stocks are gonna rise when you look at a five, 10, or even 20 or 30 year horizon. So if you're getting this stock for free, essentially for just doing the normal shopping that you would do anyway, you might as well just hold on to the stock and let it grow over time and help build your wealth. Now you're not gonna be a millionaire from the normal shopping that you would do because the amount of cash back that you receive isn't enough to where this could replace your job or anything like that. But over the course of months and years, you could really end up getting a lot of cash back or rather stock in these companies if there are stores that you consistently shop at from week to week or month to month. And so far, because I do get to choose the 15 stores that I actually shop at, I've actually gotten a lot of value from using this application. So currently, and I'll just read off because there's 15 stores, hard for me to remember all of them. Currently I have Apple, Costco, Amazon, Verizon Wireless, Shell, TJ Maxx, Target, Starbucks, Walmart, Walgreens, Wendy's, Lowe's, Home Goods, Southwest Airlines, and Delta Airlines. Now there are four main stores out of this 15 where I'm probably gonna get the most value, at least on a week to week or a month to month basis. And those are Costco, Amazon, Verizon Wireless, and Shell. Now with Costco, this is where I get the most value, or at least this is where I get the most consistent spending. And I shop at Costco a lot. Um, I probably mentioned Costco in a few videos before, and I definitely have a, a video coming up where I talk about how I get free groceries every year from Costco. And so make sure you check that out once I do post it. But since I do shop at Costco a lot, and it is an option within the Bits of Stock app, I get one and a half percent cash back, which is then turned into fractional shares of stock of Costco every time I shop at Costco. And the same goes for all of the 15 stores that I have available within this application. You actually receive one and a half percent cash back at all of these stores. So once you combine this with your cash back credit card or maybe your travel rewards credit card, you're getting at least two and a half or higher percent because the lowest cash back that most credit cards are gonna give you is 1% cash back. But speaking specifically about Costco, I actually received 2% cash back on my Costco credit card, and then I've received 1.5% by using the Bits of Stock app, which actually goes to buying shares of Costco. And then if you're an executive member at Costco, you also receive 2% whenever you shop within Costco itself. So anything that you buy online or in the store at Costco, you get 2% additional cash back. 
So essentially, the total value that I'm getting from shopping at Costco is 2% with the executive membership, 2% by using the Costco credit card, and then I get an additional 1.5% in stock by using the Bits of Stock app. And then like most young adults in the US, we shop a lot on Amazon. You can buy pretty much anything on Amazon and you'll get it within two business days if you're a Prime member, or less in some areas, you can get it in one day. Then of course, Verizon, my cell phone bill, I pay that every month no matter what. And so no matter what, I'm gonna get cash back from Verizon Wireless by using this app. And then I have to buy gas. And so Shell isn't the only option to choose from, but because I get cash back in the Bump app with Shell, I also get cash back in the GetUpside app with Shell, and I also get cash back from my credit card with any gas station that I buy gas from. So when you're selecting the stores or the retailers and restaurants that you shop at, try to think about all of the other ways that you already get cash back, whether it's using cash back apps or it's your credit card, and try to combine those. That way you're stacking cash back. You're getting cash back one, two, maybe even four times every time you shop if you select the right stores with the right applications that you're using. As you can see, the total portfolio that I have at the moment, this is only over the course of three months that I've received this cash back. And if you did see my previous video on the Bumped app, it is a vast difference between what I've received from using bits of stock versus what I've received using the Bumped app. And one of the biggest reasons is because I do get to choose the 15 specific stores, no matter the category that work best for me, versus with the Bumped app, you have 10 categories and you can only choose one option per category. But in addition, with the Bumped app, you don't even have all of the options currently available. Someone could sign up that lives in your same city or maybe lives in another area and they'll have different options to choose from than you'll have in your app. Now I'm hoping that Bumped will make that update, but in the meantime, I can still use both. I use multiple cashback apps and Bits of Stock happens to be one of my favorites. And if you watch my top seven cashback app video, Bits of Stock does make that top seven. And so just check it out to see where it lands in my top seven. All right, if you currently use the Bits of Stock app, just leave a comment below to talk about your experience. Also talk about which specific stores are most lucrative for you based on maybe where you live or based on how you shop. All right, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day. If you're not currently a member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.